Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you a new pen that I have bought recently and hopefully this will perform better compared to the inkless pen that I featured a few weeks ago. This pen is also sort of um, gimmicky. This is a dip pen that is made of glass. I bought this locally at an art shop called Straits Commercial. You can also find this online. The price is around US $10 to $20 and upwards. The one that I bought here, this is the more affordable version and it looks pretty nice. You can definitely find designs that are more extravagant and flashier online. The design for this pen that I have here, it's quite simple. We have grooves for the tip. This is to collect the ink and we have grooves here for the handle as well. Feels nice to hold. It's pretty lightweight but feels solid enough. Well, this is glass after all, and obviously you should not drop this on the floor. You can place this pen on the table and the grooves will prevent it from rolling around. And notice that the nib section is raised above the table. So after you use this, you can clean this and you can put it on your table like this, and the tip will not touch the table. That's great. As the grooves go to the back of the pen, it starts to twirl. It's pretty nice. All right, let's draw something. The ink that I'll be using is the Daniel Smith Walnut ink. The reason why I chose this ink is because I still have a large bottle of it left. So let's dip this pen into the ink. So the ink is now collected on the grooves. I'm just going to draw a public bus here in Singapore. All right, first impression, this tip here, this is not a flexible tip, so this is not capable of giving you lines with varying thickness. So you're going to get uniform lines. The tip feels smooth enough on the paper. I've just dipped the pen into the bottle again. Let's see how long it can last before I need to refill this pen. This pen is able to hold quite a lot of ink. So this is great. It's convenient to draw with, so you don't have to constantly reload this pen, which is really nice. So after drawing the back of the bus, I still have quite a lot of ink on the grooves. I've just washed the pen and wiped it dry. Now I'm going to use India ink. This is Dr. PH Martin's Bombay India ink. This color is golden yellow. I think I shook the bottle a bit too much, so there are a lot of bubbles. But they are almost gone now. Great. So in Singapore, we have double decker buses as well. Light colors like this, they are not that good for sketching because the contrast is not that strong. But the quality of the Dom, I mean the Bombay ink, it's fantastic. This is very vibrant. The bus fare here in Singapore, it's around 70 cents to up to $2. That's in Singapore currency. And our fares, they are priced according to the distance. So if you travel longer, you're going to pay more, but it's usually less than two Singapore dollars. The bus fare is actually relatively affordable compared to some developed countries. I know in some countries, you pay a fixed fare regardless of the distance you travel. I've got to say that I really enjoy drawing with this glass dip pen. It has limitations, of course. It doesn't give you that varying thickness, but it works quite well. It's gimmicky, but it works. Let me wash this again and change to a different color. The Bombay ink is pigmented ink, so it's not as easy to clean off compared to the walnut ink. You can see some physical particles on the grooves. 
and if I have to clean this completely I would need to go within the grooves to wipe off all those particles not easy the next color I'm using is turquoise in Singapore we have bendy buses as well I think these are being phased out because I seldom see them nowadays double decker buses they are definitely more effective they can carry more people and they take up less space on the road and bendy buses they are not easy to drive because they are pretty long another downside to the glass dip pan is if the opening of the bottle is quite small you will not be able to basically put the pan in because the grip section for this particular pan it's larger compared to the opening of the bottle so this is where the raised grip section of the pan it's really useful i can place the pan on my table adjust my camera angle and pick up my pen again to draw ink flow is pretty good the ink flow is quite constant you do not get those blobs of ink let me make one last drawing before i conclude this video this color is crimson so in singapore we have those open top tourist bus as well i've actually not been on one taking local buses is actually a pretty good way to get around the city even if you are a tourist because it's very cost effective once again it's pretty nice to draw with this pen i'm actually quite surprised that the ink flow is that good no ink blobs i was expecting ink blobs but there are no ink blobs so you can actually draw with the pen at an angle like this or you can draw it with the pen almost vertically And of course you can use this for writing why is there no ink buses of singapore to conclude this pen may look gimmicky but it actually works pretty well there are some false starts like when you're writing the ink doesn't appear straight away but once you get the ink going once it starts flowing it works pretty well and the pen looks good so it makes for a pretty good gift for your artist friends and it's not too expensive as well another thing i like about this pen is because this is glass the tip the nib here it will not rust it's easier to clean as well compared to those metal zebra nibs but the downside is this is glass it's not flexible so the type of lines you are going to get are those uniform lines Another area of concern for me would be on how you can bring this pen around because this is glass, it's going to be fragile. If you put it in your pencil case, you have to find some way to sort of protect it to make sure that the tip is protected because the tip, it looks a bit fragile. The tip may actually break off if you hit it against something. And if you compare this tip to a fountain pen, I would say this is probably a fine or a broad tip. That's all for today's review. I'm glad I did not waste my money on this pen. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more art-related videos. See you guys in the next video. Bye!